Okay, right here is a 2012 Komatsu PC4000-6. Now before we go and take a tour of this machine, let's talk a little bit about the history behind it. In November of 1995, Komatsu Limited created a joint venture with management DMAG, forming the new company DMAG Komatsu. And by early 1999, Komatsu had taken full control of DMAG and re-registered the company as Komatsu Mining Germany. That same year, the former DMAG Komatsu H285S hydraulic mining excavator was renumbered and renamed the Komatsu PC4000. And the following year, in 2000, the first production PC4000 excavator was placed into service. The upgraded Dash 6 version of this machine, which is what you are looking at right here, was introduced in 2009. Now this big machine is undergoing service, so we'll stay out of the mechanics way while we go and take a closer look. Originally rated as a 28 cubic yard shovel and a 29 cubic yard backhoe, the capacity was later increased to a standard 29 cubic yards for both configurations of this machine by the time the Dash 6 was introduced, which is a 16% increase in capacity over the older H285S. And rock buckets ranging from 25 to 30 cubic yard capacity are offered for this machine in backhoe configuration and bull clam sizes ranging from 25 to 31 and a half cubic yard capacity are also offered for this machine in front shovel configuration. And when compared to its predecessor, the big Komatsu will outperform the H285S by anywhere from 15 to 20 percent, depending on the application. On the back of the stick, you can see where the two bucket cylinders connect to the back of the bull clam to curl it in or out. And up top under the boom, you can see the two stick cylinders to push and retract the stick. Right here you can see where the two boom cylinders pin to the superstructure on the machine. Here you can see one of the big crawlers on this machine, which features a single flange roller design. 47 inch crawler shoes are standard on the PC4000 series, however Komatsu also offers optional wider 59 inch shoes for working on softer ground surfaces. And this big machine has a top travel speed of 1.3 miles per hour. To help give you an idea of the size of a PC4000-6, this machine measures 24 feet 11 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 27 feet 3 inches wide. Let's go up on this big girl.
Okay. From here you can get a good view of the machine's hydraulic system. The PC4000 features an 11% increase in oil flow over the older H285S from its four-circuit system that features a load-limiting governor with oil delivery summation to the working circuits and incorporates pressure cutoff control. The machine's hydropilot system prioritizes hydraulic flow, which results in smooth hydraulic response. The swing circuit on the PC4000 consists of two axial piston motors geared to two swing transmissions, one of which you can see right here, and the other is mounted 180 degrees on the opposite side of the superstructure, and these are what will swing the machine left and right. This compartment, located directly below the operator's cab, is the electronic room. And inside of here, you can see all of the computers, relays, and electronics that work this machine. There are four main control valve blocks on this machine. This is block one, which controls the right swing, bucket, and stick. Block two down here controls the left track propel, stick, clam, and boom. Block three above controls the left swing, bucket, and boom. And finally, block four right here controls the right track propel, stick, bucket, and boom. Right here is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which holds 1,030 gallons of oil. And here you can see the right side swing motor. And here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. And mounted directly ahead of the hydraulic tank are two large swing-out vertical hydraulic cooling units, which consist of four coolers driven by temperature-regulated hydraulically driven fans. And here you can see one of the fans right inside of here. This machine utilizes two Lincoln 53-gallon automatic lubrication systems mounted in the front of this machine along the superstructure, one of which you can see right here. The right side barrel lubricates the attachment, and the left side barrel lubricates the slew ring. Now, let's get inside and check out the power plant on this machine. Okay, there are eight hydraulic pumps on this machine, which consists of four identical Rexroth swashplate main pumps developing 1,096 GPM to power the front attachment, travel, and swing system. The main pumps on this machine feature float valves, which allows for pressureless stick retraction and boom down functions to extend the pump life. Additionally, the engine drives four smaller pumps to power the pilot control, cooling fans, engine fan, and the gear case oil. And this entire hydraulic system was built by Rexroth. And if you look right here on the front of the gear case, you can see where it says, Rexroth made in Germany. Back here is the engine. 
Here you can see the big diesel engine that powers the PC4000. This is a Cummins QSK60, which is sold under a joint agreement between Cummins and Komatsu as a Komatsu SDA 16V 160E-2. This is a water-cooled, direct injection, four-cycle, turbocharged, and after-cooled V16 diesel engine developing 1875 flywheel horsepower at 1800 RPM for this machine, which is a 12% increase in power over the older H285S. And Komatsu offers the PC4000-6 with optional electric drive powered by a 1350 kilowatt squirrel cage induction motor. The PC4000 also features a high capacity Masabi engine radiator, which you can see right here, which is cooled by a hydraulically driven fan for superior cooling efficiency. inside of this compartment you can get another good view of the big V16 Cummins diesel engine. Now let's go up top. Right here is the top of the diesel fuel tank, which holds 1,691 gallons of fuel. On the top of the engine house, you can see the two exhaust stacks in the center, and the two sets of air cleaners, and you can see the air intakes below for the engine. All of these red canisters that you see are for the fire suppression system. And here you can see the two big mufflers. This vent that you see is a new feature that was added to the Dash 6 to allow all the hot air to escape the engine room to help keep it cool. Early PC4000-6 excavators had additional electronics stored on top of the engine house in three boxes. You can see one right here, there's another on the opposite side, and one right there. However, this was later done away with on newer Dash 6 series machines. And from here you can get another overview of the hydraulic system, and you can see where all of the hoses run out to power the shovel attachment in the front. Let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the PC4000. This is an air suspension seat that can be adjusted to fit the operator's weight and position. The seat is also electrically heated. Okay, the two pistol grip joysticks that you see on the right and left side control all the digging functions of the front shovel attachment out in front, or if this machine were set up as a backhoe. This big hand lever that you see over here on my right side is the safety lock. You push it forward to disengage and pull back to engage. On the floor, 
These two foot pedals out in front here control the travel functions on the shovel. Each foot pedal controls each individual track, just like on a smaller Komatsu excavator. This pedal that you see over here on the right side controls the swing brake. And these two pedals that you see over here on the left side control the clam functions on this machine. The right pedal opens the clam and the left pedal closes the clam. And you operate these two foot pedals by pivoting off your heel. Off to the left side control panel, here you can see other switches to control various functions on this machine. And here you can see the digital LCD display screen, which features the Comtrax Plus satellite communication and monitoring system, which provides real-time information to the operator on the operating status of this machine. And you can see all the gauges out in front to monitor the machine when it's running. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a PC-4000. The noise level inside the cab of this machine is rated to be below 73 decibels. And this beautiful cab was designed exclusively for Komatsu's mining class of hydraulic excavators. Directly behind the operator's seat you can see the trainer's seat and also a built-in mini refrigerator. Like all Komatsu mining excavators, the PC-4000 comes standard with bolt-on sunblinds, which you can see right here, to reduce sunlight glare in on the operator. Here you can see where the two axial piston travel motors are located, which gear to double reduction planetary final drives to propel each individual track. And here you can see the central service fluid filling station, which can be raised and lowered to allow the serviceman to fill this machine with diesel, hydraulic oil, engine oil, or grease from right here. And on the back of this machine's counterweight, you can see where it says, Komatsu. When the PC-4000 series was first introduced, it had an operating weight ranging between 408 to 413 and a half tons in front shovel configuration and ranged between 419 and a half to 424 and a half tons in backhoe configuration. However, over time, with numerous improvements and upgrades made to the machine, these weights increased. And by the time the Dash 6 was introduced, this machine had grown to weigh between 427.7 to 433.3 tons in front shovel configuration and range anywhere from 434 and a half to 440 tons in backhoe configuration. Later on in 2016, at the September Mine Expo show held in Las Vegas, Nevada, Komatsu released the new PC-4000-11 as the successor to the PC-4000-6, which featured many improvements to meet Tier 4 emission regulations. But there she is, a 2012 
Komatsu PC4000-6.